I'm proud to speak today on behalf of the San Francisco Office of the American Jewish Committee. I want to thank everyone here. Hamas has called for a global day of jihad today. Being here is an act of solidarity with Israel and the Jewish people, as well as an act of resistance against those that believe we have no right to exist. Jewish institutions around the world face credible security threats from Hamas and their supporters. Remember that the next time someone tells you that anti-Zionism, the belief that the Jewish people have no right to self-determination, and anti-Semitism, the hatred of Jews, are different. But Jews will not cower. We will not hide. We will not be silenced. We will shout from the rooftops so that our enemies know that the people of Israel live. Hamas is a terrorist death cult whose founding charter calls for the murder of Jews everywhere, not just Israel. On Saturday, when more Jews were killed in a single day than any other day since the Holocaust, they murdered over 1,200 innocent people in Israel, injured thousands more, and took at least 150 hostage. That includes Jews, Christians, Hindus, Muslims, agnostics, and atheists from at least 36 countries, not just Israel. Hamas is a threat to all of humanity, which is why nations around the world have voiced their support for Israel. In that spirit of solidarity, I want to thank the San Francisco Consular Corps and representatives that have reached out to us this week in a show of solidarity. I've been hearing from representatives of European countries, Latin America, Asia, Africa. Just in the audience today, we have representatives from the Irish consulate, the French consulate. All of these countries lost citizens to Hamas in the past week. On behalf of the Jewish community, we offer our condolences and stand with you against terrorism as you stand with us. Bring them home!